pretty disappointed with our effort tonight. Um, we got outworked and we got our, for lack of a better term, butts handed to us. Um, so just extremely disappointed of our effort. I, it's not been a time that I felt like we'd had to try to coach effort, um, but today uh, that's what the cards were dealt. So just disappointed that, um, you know, for Karis in her last game in Songus that, you know, we couldn't pull out the dub. Um, but just credit to Vermont for just playing harder than us and, you know, executing and spreading the floor and playing with a little bit more of a sense of urgency than we did tonight. Um, Coach, if you want to start off on a little bit on a lighter note, the, obviously tonight was senior night, a chance to honor uh, the lone senior on the squad, uh, mm -hmm. Karis Island. What has she brought to the squad th throughout the season, and what's it been like having her um, be a leader for this program throughout the course of the season? Yeah. Um, it's been really good to have Karis. She really understands the game, her basketball IQ. Um, she's a coach's daughter, so that definitely helps us out as well. But usually if we need a bucket from her or if we're in a pinch, um, Karis has been the one that's been able to step up for us and kind of get that done. Um, and she's, you know, always trying to keep the group together. And if there's any questions that the kids have, um, she's the one that they go to. So the younger ones, you know, look up to her in a sense. And, you know, us as coaches, you know, look to her as well to be kind of a floor general on the floor. So. It's just been fun watching her grow up from uh, her freshman season to now. Uh, Karis and I came in at the same time. So kind of seeing where she came from, you know, 18-year-old Karis to 22-year-old Karis now um, has, has been really fun to see. Uh, going up against Vermont today, the team did have some struggles uh, shooting-wise, especially from beyond the arc. Was it just mm -hmm. one of those days where the shots weren't falling or was it uh, some things where they weren't able to get separation along the perimeter? Yeah, I mean, I think our shots weren't falling, and I think we were forcing the issue in some cases. Um, am I completely surprised? No, I'm not. We did not shoot well today at shoot around. So um, usually, I'd probably say seven to eight times out of 10, if you don't shoot fairly well and shoot around, you kind of don't have that great of a shooting day overall. So shoot around was not great for us, um, but you know, at any given moment, if you see one shot hit and you see it fall, things could change in an instant. But unfortunately for us today, um, that was not the case. Do you think that it had, was impacted at all by being a new venue? You guys haven't played in Saugus Center throughout the course of the season. You, I've heard teams in the past uh, mention that just something about playing on a different court um, can be, a, you know, a little bit, create a different atmosphere for the players. Do you think that that had an impact at all? Um, no, I mean, we travel on the road and we play in different venues, you know, so I don't necessarily think, I mean, we shot the ball extremely well at Stony Brook on Wednesday. Um, so I think the change of the venue shouldn't necessarily make a big difference. Um, I just think our focus was not fully there tonight. And I don't know if it was just the excitement of the day and everything that was going on and the emotions that were built up or, um, you know, if you just don't see that one drop and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I missed that one. And now it just kind of, you know, piles on. Um, so the venue, not so much, uh, more so than, you know, just our preparation earlier on in the day. Shoot or shoot and they find a way, so. Uh, looking ahead, you guys have one more conference game before you close out the season against Hartford. And then you have uh, the postseason matchup slated with NJIT. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do in order to prepare for those games? Yeah, I mean, just get back in the gym, watch film, um, and continue to make some adjustments. Um, obviously get up some shots and just, you know, back to the grind. So we just have to figure it out and we have to make a decision as a group. Um, you know, one loss doesn't spoil the bunch. Um, you know, we could come out Monday and play well and be on a high note, you know, going into the playoffs. Um, we've played, I believe we'll go to NJIT, I, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But, you know, if we go down there, we played them tough twice, um, you know, and that's what playoffs are about. So, you know, you finish up the regular season. Is it great to go into conference play, uh, tournament play on a high note for sure? Um, but that's why you play the tournament, you know. 
Uh, anybody can upset anybody. Anybody can catch a run at the right time and, and move forward. So um, that's what we're going to focus on. We're going to celebrate Karis and our manager, who we call Lil' Bit, um, today. And some of our families are here, so we'll you know fellowship and have a good time with them. And then tomorrow we're, we're back at it. We have to turn the page and we have to you know push this to the side. Thanks for your time, Coach. No problem.